Hello, beautiful souls. It's me, Shamama Hunting Owl, and I am back with another message and card reading for us for today. Um, these messages are always timeless. You know, if you find it today, be great. It's for you today. Um, if you find it six months from now, then hey, great. It's for then when you find it. Um, thank you guys for being here, for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Um, I want to remind you guys to please hit the subscribe button. Um, I have been posting a lot of content in the community tab. And if you don't subscribe, you don't get to see it, you guys. So don't miss it, okay? Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? For those of you who are local in South Florida, I will be um, doing a healing singing bowls um event, I guess you can call it, at the Palm Beach County Library off of Gun Club Road on Monday night at 7 p.m. Um, I believe it is posted on the Palm Beach County Library's website. Um, I'm super excited and looking forward to it. Um, we've had a lot of people pre-register already. So if you are local and you are interested in receiving um, sound bowl healing, Oh, excuse me, you guys. Um, yeah, come out and check. Come out and see me. Okay. All right. Um, what do we got going on? Super emotional energies, guys. So we have Mercury retrograde and we have um, the full moon in Pisces. All water, water, water. Emotion, emotion, emotion. Um, we also have this weekend. I'm getting very emotional. <sighs> we also, we also have this weekend, 9-11. Give me a second, guys. Okay. All right. So, we also have 9 11 this week. And whether you are a conspiracy theorist or, you know, uh, whatever, whatever, and whatever you believe and feel about 9 11. There is still a lot of pain and a lot of suffering, a lot of trauma that has been left by the events around 9-11. And some of you know um, 9-11 has some very, very personal, um, personal associations for myself. Um, and it's very relevant on my journey. So, this is personally for me a very important um, weekend, a few days coming up. Um, I'm also doing um, a medicine retreat for the next three days starting tonight. Um, a private one for a person, a client who's coming in from um, Pennsylvania. And he is... Um, doing his first medicine journey with me um, for the next three days. And, um, and for many of you who are following the channel, 
the other day. <clears throat> God, you guys, it's a lot of emotion. And I apologize. I am trying to balance it to the best of my ability. <sighs> anyway, okay. So my client is coming in. Um, those of you who follow the channel, I posted the other day um, a, a um, message that I had received from my client. This is the same client um, who was in a very, very dark place. And he shared in a message to me that he allowed me to share with you guys exactly what the masculine energy is going through right now, the turmoil. Um, and for so many that are awakening what they are going through. So this gentleman is coming to spend a few days and work on his healing. And, um, and I can't help but feel how important this is. Um, the timing of it all and the and the healing that we are bringing in doing this um, not just for this man who's coming but for the collective at this time um, where I'm hearing on um, what's the beat is it a Beatles song all you need is love Wah, 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 wah. All you need is... Yeah. Yeah. At a time where all we need is love. All we need is love. And so for me, the next five days through Monday, um, through doing that, the healing ceremony, Monday night, it's sort of a, is sort of um. for me, this is a big deal. Um, for my path, this is a big deal. Um, and yeah, I can't help but feel the tremendous amount of, um, of love that is in my heart for everything that is coming for us. And I know I'm sitting here crying and it looks, I feel so ridiculous, you guys, because I feel, I don't feel sad. Like, yes, I feel all of the feels, but like I said, there's so much love. Um, and there's so much change. Uh, that is coming for us. Uh, and it's just, it's overwhelming. It's truly overwhelming the amount of um, blessings, blessings that are being delivered. And this is not just the twin flame stuff, okay? This is for those of you who are in your mission, who are doing your work, who are awakening, um, you are being moved. You are being moved. And, um, and it's beautiful. And it's beautiful what's coming for us. Um, okay, so I'm going to pull myself together and bring up. Journey's barking at the door. Hang on, of course. Of course, of course. Just when I'm getting ready to get into the reading. Here he comes. <laughs> Hi, baby. Uh, oh, God, as emotional, here he is. Hi, hi guys. Um, yeah, he knows, he knows. You guys know, Journey's my DM. <laughs> Journey is my divine masculine. He represents all the DMs. He is my boy. Uh, um, and yes, thank you for coming in and giving me love. You felt me, I know, lots of emotions. So you gotta help me ground and come in and be with us. All right. Whew. 
Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Like, our animals know. <laughs> our animals know when we need them, and they are such beautiful, sentient beings. Um, all right, lay down. Oh, gosh. Okay, wait, not on my glasses. Okay. <sighs> okay, shake that all off. <laughs> All right, sorry you guys. So that was a very emotional first 10 minutes of this video. And um, and yeah, so now I'm gonna pull it together <laughs> and, um, and just say um, in closing of all of that, my heart goes out to all of you. Um, and if you are in the area, I would love for you guys to come to the library. It's free um, and receive some healing and send up some love at this super important time um, in our journeys. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, what did I do? So I sat down to pull the card of the day and I grabbed the Tarot Grand Lux and then Spirit gave me a whole smorgasbord of cards, a whole freaking reading, so. I did not post um, a card yet for the day because I decided to do this instead. All right, guys. <sighs> Still trying to get my shit together. Hang on. All right. So the first card, the overlying, the overall energy of this reading is the judgment card. Okay. Now, as you see in this judgment card, this is the call being sent out. The awakening the the resurrection the time to rise up in what you're here to do this is spirit bringing things back that were once dead being reawakened um for some of you you may have like like started to create something i'm hearing back like a long time ago and then kind of put it on ice for a while or just kind of like forgot about it or just got disenchanted with it or whatever. Well, that is going to also be something resurrected. You did that legwork I'm hearing back then to, to establish um, it, it for now. It wasn't something that's dead and buried. It's coming back to life. Now, again, Mercury retrograde. We talk about people coming back um, from our past, so on and so forth. This represents this energy. Things are resurrecting, coming back around, awakening on a new level. See, look, Journey knew I needed him to cry. He got, I got my shit together and he laughed. <laughs> anyway, guys, all right. Um, yeah, so, so spirit is calling. The angels are calling. The Holy Spirit is calling. Like, I literally am hearing the entire Legion of Light is bellowing is is bellowing is beckoning you to rise and we are being asked at this time to rise this is this is a sound like i'm hearing the who's who's the dude i'm so bad at history guys the guy who ran through this the ringing the bell um through the streets in the history warning oh shit the red coats are coming i don't know who that what paul revere was that Paul Revere? Oh, fuck you guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, that's what I'm hearing. So, so this is the beckoning that is coming. This is the calling that is happening right now. Um, we have, and it's, you know, and the judgment card is the number 20 and the two X's are just standing out so strongly to me. It's like the closing chapters, the closing chapters, like it's, this is it. It's your time. Um, and this energy that is going to be coming in this weekend as we move through the the moon, the retrograde. I mean, again, retrograde is going to last six weeks. The moon energy lasts two weeks. We got blah, 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 blah. All of this energy is going to be around for a while. But where it's taking us is this judgment, the the strength that the, of the angels. You see, like, she's got her armor on that angel, right? That's the warrior angel, that trumpet, that awakening, that charge I'm hearing that is coming out is, is giving us our strength, the feminine and the masculine. I see the masculine as the lion in this card and I see the feminine as the feminine in this card. This is giving us the strength to do what's next because what's next is going to come incredibly quickly 
and I mean incredibly quickly for many of you watching, okay? And, um, and I'm gonna say that, I'm not gonna say that there's not gonna be fear attached to it. Um, because anything that's unknown, because what we're, what's coming, we're not going to see. We're not necessarily going to see it. You see all those clouds? It's not going to necessarily be clear. We're just going to know we have to take steps toward something. And, and we're just going to follow it blindly. And there's going to be fear attached to that, of course. Apprehensions. But we are strong. This is giving us the strength. The armor, the warrior spirit is being breathed, breathed, blown, breathed into us down here on this plane. Resurrecting us stronger, better. Oh my God, I'm hearing the bionic man. Holy shit. Do you remember the bionic man and the bionic woman? Holy shit. I'm seeing the scene from that. We can build them better, stronger. Da 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 da. <laughs> Do you remember? Oh my God, I'm totally showing my age, sorry. Anyway, it's building us better, stronger, okay? Better, stronger, more capable. It's, it's reinforcing our human body. Just like the bionic man, he got metal parts, bionic parts, right? He lost parts of himself. He lost the broken parts of himself. And those new parts were upgraded, upgraded with something that helped him be stronger, to get the job done better. Was he still human? Yeah. But did he have upgraded parts? Yeah. There was a bionic woman too, right? Lindsay Wagner, was that her name? I don't know. Anyway, um, I used to love that show. Both of them. Anyway, whatever, I'm old. <laughs> strength, we're getting strength. We're being rebuilt. We're becoming the bionic man and woman, okay? <laughs> bionic humans, bionic people. Now, the next card that came out with this overlying energy, okay. Oop, shit, sorry guys. Um, was the Hierophant, okay. So what are we being made strong to do, okay? To move toward our commitment, our soul contract. Whatever that is for you. Maybe it's with your twin. Maybe it's your mission. Maybe you're still healing stuff with your family and that's the soul contract you're doing right now. Um, but this is your commitment. This is to follow your higher calling. And what I love about this Hierophant card in particular, look at what he's sitting under. This is that, that, what's that thing called? A hoopah? Hoopa? 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 It's like the four of wands. So it's your commitment to your future stability, your spiritual being, your highest happiness, the celebration of everything. This is the wedding card, yes. Commitment, marriage, to your covenant, to your divine covenant that will bring you your four of wands, okay? Will bring you your union, your unity. Your, I'm hearing like your communion with oneness. And yes, this is about unions, unions in the physical world. Being strong enough to move now toward them in a committed way. That's what I'm hearing. Moving toward our spiritual contracts, commitments, and obligations, because they are obligations. Although we have free will, we did sign these contracts. These are what we came here to do. And we are not meant to choose them from a place of um, duress. We are meant to choose them from a place of divine love. A place of divine love. All right. So overlying energy, that is for the feminine and the masculine, for the entire collective. All right. Let's move into the feminine and where we see her. We see the feminine in the six of swords energy. Okay. We've been talking about the feminine moving forward, moving away, moving forward, moving away, moving forward, moving away from anything that doesn't serve them, anything that brings them strife, anxiety, mental conflict. The feminine is done like she is choosing to to actively 
move away. She's not saying I can't do it anymore. She's saying I choose to not do it anymore. In that, there is so much power. In saying I choose, that's power. In saying I can't, that's helplessness. So the feminine is rising in her power, in her choices to move away from anything that is rocky, rough, not serving, okay? Anything that's not coming forward for her in the right way, she's moving from. Now, for some of you, this is travel. For some of you, this is actual physical moving. For me, this is actual physical moving. I have a little hair over two weeks to move. As you can see behind me, I haven't packed shit. I haven't even found a place to live yet. Ha, 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 ha. And my mom and I have to be out of this house in two weeks, packed, gone, over. Um, am I flying by the seat of my pants completely and fucking totally? Am I a little bit scared? Uh, a little wee bit. Am I trusting in the fucking divine that they are going to bring me the most perfect thing at the most perfect time? Fuck yeah. Anyway, <laughs> divine feminines. Trust. Trust that the choices you are making to live a better life are going to lead you to the light on the shore. To exactly where you want to be. And where is that do the divine feminines want to be? Or are going to be? The queen of pentacles, the queen of coins. This divine feminine is in her boat, doing her mission, saying that's it. I'm moving ahead. Whoever wants to come with me, you can come with me in my boat. If you're, if you're like, cool, you can join me. If you don't want to, fuck that. If you're not coming ahead right, you can stay over there. I'm moving ahead. I got big things to do. I am the queen. The queen of my world, my kingdom, my queendom. This is my world and I am powerful in it because I am love and I am light. This is what the feminine is reflecting. She is fertile, abundant, loyal, connected to spirit, connected to nature. She's amazing. And not in an ego way. Not in like a fucking, I'm a badass. I'm like, no, there's no pride involved. She just radiates beauty, love. That's it. Connected to all that is. And I'm getting emotional again. But she is amazing. And just look at the energy that she possesses. When she chooses, here's the key. When she chooses to move away from drama and bullshit in her life. Again, when she chooses to move away from people who are not serving her, situations that are not serving her, people who are not being reciprocal with her, people who don't celebrate her the way she celebrates them. As the feminine chooses to leave all this behind, the rise is there. Spirit rewards her when she gets to shore. Soon as she makes it through the rough waters, and those rough waters are right now, right now, right? You gotta have strength, you gotta have trust, you gotta believe in what your soul contract is. And here's your soul contract's payoff. You are the queen. All right, let's touch base with the masculine now, because I have some more cards with this, but let's go to the masculine next. All right, masculine, what are you up to? Masculine is coming in as the king of wands. He ain't doing anything at the moment, but watching. He's got a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of desire. Okay, he's here in the wake up call too. He's getting stronger. He's getting more confident. He's hearing spirit talk to him, right? But he is fired the fuck up is what I'm hearing on fire this masculine he is seeing this feminine move away he sees her and he's like oh fuck here i am and i'm gonna say it i'm holding my own dick because there he is with his wand his dick stick i've been holding my own dick over here and she's leaving he she the feminine 
very feminine. I mean, you know, the feminine, male, fem female, whatever. Feminine is leaving. And I'm over here, full of fire and passion. But there's no action happening, except with his own hand. What's that song by Pink? You and your hand? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It just, spirit gives me the fucked up stuff, guys. Um, but it's honest and it's true. Okay? They're just watching, holding their fucking business. And enamored. I almost feel like this guy is like caught up in the beauty of the feminine. But at the same time, she's moving away. He's afraid. He got no action. Because he's holding all of his passion and his lust to himself because it's safe there. He's not being vulnerable. He's not putting himself out there. He's just holding it all to himself. All of this fire and passion and lust and desire and yada, 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 yada. Okay. However... This energy, he can't maintain. <laughs> he cannot maintain this one-sided, shall we say, love affair with himself um, and his fantasies about the feminine. So the king unleashes his knight, the knight of wands. Now, yes, this can be the playboy this can be that hitter, in or out, player um, energy, okay? But the king says, I'm, I'm tired of playing with my own wand. I want some, I like some companionship playing with my wand. <laughs> I would like to share my passion. I would like to um, explore what this queen of pentacles is doing over there because she looks really, really tempting and tasty. She had it going on. So this king unleashes his knight to go do battle. And if you see, this knight is definitely ready for battle because he, this, the queen, she moved away. She fucking left. No word, no nothing. Just picked her shit up and said, I'm out of here. Later. I got shit to do. I got shit to do. You want to find me? You know where to find me. You can find me. Social media is amazing. You know, there's all sorts of ways to find people nowadays if people want to find people. But I'm over there. I'm going later. And so he unleashes the night. <laughs> and this knight knows. He's like, fuck. I'm bringing my wand, baby. But I'm also got my armor on because I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared that you may not may not be loving when I get there and you may not want to want to want to hold on to my wand with me <laughs> Fuck. um so yeah so that's that's the energy so so the queen of panic so I think this is really interesting that the feminine has a very action-oriented card is her first card she's moving she's like boom I heard the sound I'm going the masculine's reaction to the sound was, I'm going to get full of lust and sit here a little longer and watch her leave and play with myself. But watch her leave and play with myself. No action, outward action by the masculine to the feminine leaving. But then the masculine realizes, holy shit, she actually left. And now look at her. She's all glowing up. And I'm still playing with my own stick. So I got to go. So then the feminine is now in a very more passive energy with her second card. Just being the queen. It's what she is. It's what she does. And the masculine is in the active energy. Pursuing. Pursuing her. Because she's all cozy comfy in her kingdom. Queendom. In her little universe of magic. I love that. I love that, you guys. Oops, I put them back in the wrong place. I switched them. Oops. So what's between them? Do we want to do what's between them next? What's between them? Yes, we do. Is the Seven of Cups. All these choices. 
all these choices and decisions of what will make them happy. That's what that's what's between them. What's going to give them that palace, their castle? I love that. What's going to give the queen and the king their castle of happiness, of fulfillment? Which cup shall we choose, my darling? Well, you know what? What's pretty cool about this card, this seven of cups, is those cups are all arched by a rainbow. Any choice that you make toward your highest, greatest good is the right choice. That's what this is saying. Any choice that is made that is filled with love and truth, like these are the cups of love, truth, compassion, forgiveness, understanding, um, 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 transparency and vulnerability. That's what I'm hearing. How cool is that? This is what's between them. All these beautiful cups. There's seven of them bringing you together right now, guys. That's super, super cool. All right, so now we go to the feminine, back to the feminine. So as the feminine is just doing her thing in her queendom, being the queen of coins, the masculine's in pursuit, right? We know that. Look at what we get. She's the empress. She's the empress. She has shifted. I mean, yeah, she was the queen of coins and look at how beautiful she was, but now she's encompassing. The more connected she is with her physical, the more grounded is what I'm hearing. The more grounded she is with all of this earth energy, with all of her spiritual energy, bringing it grounded, doing her mission, bringing it into the physical plane. She then encompasses everything, all of the goddesses, all of the queens. She is the empress. She gives life and love to everything she touches. Everything she touches, she brings beauty to. How cool is that? So what does the feminine next have is the death cycle. This is the end, the end of suffering, the end of her pain, the end of anything that was disingenuine, that wasn't true, wasn't real, any masks she was wearing, she is purified. She is purified. She is purified and we have the world, the completion and the rebirth, bam, bam, because she is the empress now. Now, what I find interesting about the empress in this card, most of the time the empress is pregnant still. This empress is actually holding a baby, okay? She's actually the mother now. She has fully birthed into this physical world, what she has created, what she has desired to create, three, 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 three on the clock, what she has desired to create, it's here. It's here for her. This is her season is what I'm hearing. All right, the masculine. Now, last we saw our dear masculine, he was the Knight of Wands, right? He was a knight of wands. He is charging forth toward justice, toward freedom, liberation, toward a fair, to, to making things right and fair. He's charging forth to make things right and fair toward lady justice, okay? Because he's tired of being stuck in the 10 of swords energy. Right? Look, those ropes aren't even fucking tied. They're cut, but they're wrapped around his wrists. Lady Justice is going to stick her little final sword in him, right? Makes the ton of swords. So that's it. Your suffering's over. You're done with this, this pity party, dude. You're done with the backstabbing bullshit. You're done with bringing false people into your world. Have you not learned your fucking lesson? Are you done suffering? 
Are you done? It's time for justice. Get a move on. This is the fire. And this guy wants to bring justice and end his suffering. He knows. He knows who's going to love him through this pain. He knows. Over there. She's over there. Right? So the last card we have for the masculine is when he loosens and lets go. We have the six of coins. Again, balance. Scales, balance, scales, balance. He wants to make things right. He realizes, 35, 35, he realizes, he realizes things were unfair and unjust. He was unfeet, unfair and unjust. He's been freed by just, by Lady Justice. And now he needs to come forth and bring justice and make things balanced. Now, what's the energy between them at this point? At this point, we have the Three of Cups, the coming together to celebrate. Now, above that, though, in the Union energy, we have the Seven of Cups. So now we have all the cups coming together because alone they were able to find all those Seven Cups. Together, they find the missing three. They now have Ten Cups and they can celebrate in their castle with all the cups all the love together divine unity divine union final outcome the sun the sun like do i need to say anything else i don't think so the sun spirit has blessed this this is your chance this is your time to shine now, remember, I want to say there's one thing with the sun. The sun is super powerful, right? The sun has so much energy. The sun can also be abused, right? The sun can be dangerous, but it could be good too. So remember that. I'm hearing don't fly too close to the sun without proper protection. Don't get lost in the light completely. But this is your chance to be free. This is your chance for divine happiness. This is your chance to be fully celebrated in who you are for yourself, in your union, and to have sun every day and light and beauty in your life. Liberation, freedom, all of it coming together, you guys. So with that, I am going to um, wrap this up with just saying um, over the next few days, I'm going to be a little hit or miss. So I don't know if I'll be around since I will be doing retreat, you guys. Um, I will be back next week for sure on Monday. Um, I also just want to say that um, since I don't know my situation and what's happening, um, yeah, I might be in and out for the next couple weeks a lot. I will still be here for sessions, so please reach out. Um, and I love you guys, and I can't wait until the beginning of October when I am in my new place and I can show you guys around and, um, and we can have fun and I can unpack and go crazy and rip my hair out. So... <laughs> I love you guys so much. I am wishing you always so much love and light, gratitude and blessings, my beautiful, beautiful souls. And I love you. And we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.